everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Racine, a real-time auto-battler deck builder roguelike, which is really strange and kind of cool. I don't know what this is, so we're just gonna... we're just gonna start. So the entire point is we are wandering around clearing all of these before eventually reaching a boss. I believe it gets harder over time, but that I think it's just kind of like a general corruption behind me. I have a deck of cards, which seems to be mostly focused around the idea of building up defense and reflecting damage back at enemies. I wonder if I can actually de-equip some of these. It doesn't look like I can do it right now. Uh, let's see. So I guess we're just going to go into our first fight and show it off as we go. If I have ref uh, a reflection card. I'm going to wait until he starts trying to attack me. Parry it so we don't take a whole lot of damage. And uh, so every time I play a card that has like a stat bonus, I permanently gain whatever that is. Uh, so in this case, uh, I'm gaining reflect. So effectively, I'm reflecting damage back at them. I think armor armor is just temporary HP that I just get to. Oop. Uh, I just get to have. So what do we want to do? I don't actually know what like half of these are. We can see what my stats are. Uh, so reflects percent of damage reflected to the enemies when they attack your character. So where do we want to go? Because we kind of want to loop around. So let's go down, over, hit this, get this, and then maybe kind of loop back and do some other stuff. Like I said, it does get more punishing, but I don't remember how bad. Yeah, so we just have the four armor. It doesn't seem to recover, at least not currently. Uh, let's just get rid of that for the time being. I'm just going to boost my overall armor. We don't have any cards that boost my attack, which is weird. Uh, but I do kind of like the idea of just having a massive reflection bonus. Let's get rid of Daikatana and the heal. We don't need those. Okay, and there's a bunch of guys. Oh, the one issue is... The longer I am here... Let's see, the longer I am here, the harder it gets. I think. Okay, do we bother healing? Yeah. I think we heal at this point. Let's wait for him to wind up. There we go. I just want to get as many of these stats as I can. Especially if I can get my crit up to 100. Because if I can have 100% crit chance, we can just get rid of it. But I would like to find some other cards, maybe kind of, sort of. Get rid of Daikatana, because once again, don't care about damage too much. I wonder if the enemy levels... are just an overall thing. I'm gonna keep getting rid of that. Get rid of that katana. Armor. Yeah, I don't know what Boggs does. Yeah, I'd like to get some more of those reflect cards. But we still have some enemies coming in. There we go. Get rid of the heals. Nope. Didn't get it, but it's okay. We still have tons of armor. Wait for that. Alright. And we've got our alt. I think I'll wait. There we go. Okay, so we get 6% crit, 12% reflection. I'm going to keep working on getting that reflection up if I can. Because once again, if I can have that, and the enemies can just hit themselves for tons of damage. Whenever they hit me. That seems like it's going to be genuinely pretty good. I can't wait until I have other cards that I can also add to my lineup. We are stuck with a pretty basic starting deck. 
And yeah, it seems like enemies just get stronger over time. And that level might never go down. But maybe that's fine. Okay. Big guy, let's just blow him up. Probably could grab a couple of these. Okay, keep drawing. Go for the crits? Yeah, I mean, I might as well. If I can get one more armor. I don't think I'm gonna get more, but I think we get more cards from this. So what can we get? Opening, 8% crits, vulnerable 1. Oh, the cards, okay. So we also have Reflect and Shielding. Next X, Temporary Shields block all damage instead of half of them. Or 6% damage, discard 2. And I don't know what this means. So we don't scale any damage at all. Like, it's kind of tempting to just have all reflect out of sheer curiosity to see what that does. Do I? Oh, I can actually get multiple. Uh, Reroll, see what else I can get. Three re-roll again. 1% evade. Full hand equals no cost. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so we can also move things around. Because I think I only need one heal. I don't think I want Daikatana. So cards above the 10th boost your key speed by 5%. Because... I mean, that is the one option. I could grab all of these. That is tempting. Okay, can I... Oh, I can, I can actually just warp across the map to get to any of these. So now I actually have to go through the dead spaces. The main thing we have to worry about is that. Okay. There we go. Get rid of Daikatana, get rid of heals. Yeah, we can just kind of shield a bunch of these up. If I can. Now can I no, I can't choose my my target here. that. Wait for him. There there we go. In retrospect, I guess spikes are not that good. But, I mean, we're getting my reflection stat up. 58%. Now what does this do? I think usually this is a mistake. Hello, traveler. Let me help you by filling your pockets with exciting charms of my making. Take a look at them. They all have some spice to it. Not to mention their very small cost. So we can get... Uh, super bar fills fast, but only once per fight. More Kia and damage. Oh. Healing cards also repair armor, but heal less HP. Very well. I hope you'll be wholly satisfied with my little trinkets. We're not happy with that. With what you've got, worry not. All you have to do is get rid of the effect. And to get rid of the effects is simply to die. Okay, that's slightly ominous, but whatever. Yeah, let's get rid of the heals. Wait for this guy. Get the shields up. So 
actually see if I can get a couple of these. I want to see if I can get the evasion. There it is. Yeah, we don't need too much of an evasion chance, I don't think. Okay, other guy? Nope. Didn't get it, but that's fine. Now that doesn't seem to actually heal my armor too much. Which is a little unfortunate. Still worth it. Okay, so what else do we do? Do we keep heading over here? Do we want to fight the mid-boss? Kinda. Before it gets too hard. I mean, is it gonna get hard? Okay, I'm just gonna draw a couple of these because we want to get distraction. Now I know evasion goes down. Okay. Well, we have a needles. There we go. We're up to 100% reflection. I'd like to get it higher if I can. There we go. Haven't taken too much. Let's go for this. Toss the armor. Okay. Pop the needles before we go. Good stuff. Okay, that looks like it got worse. Ooh, that actually looks really interesting up there. But let's go down here. Okay, so we now reflect 100% of damage. And we're up to 102. Can actually get it. There we go. Might as well get my stats up a little bit. Yeah, unfortunately, reflection seems to... There we go. I think I got it right before it went. Okay, let's see about this. Because I think this guy usually pummels me. This looks like an important place of worship. Are you the one who to whom it's dedicated? Stand back, human. No one shall spoil the shrine as I stand. I just want to pay my respects to the local spirit. Back off or I shall crush you. So be it. All right. Let's see if I can fill this up. It yeah, dude hurts. Good evasion. I don't know what that was. Unfortunately, I don't know what his tells are. He's got like a little bit of a, a wiggle. And I don't know what the bubble is or does. But I'm not sure if I'm worried about it. Because the thing is, like... He's kind of pummeling himself. Okay, we have needles. Get rid of those two. Get needles again. I wonder if I can get rid of this. And it's just a cool iguana thing. Just kind of blorping at us. Or is it a frog? Hello there, Protector. I hope my sure did not give you too much trouble. He started to be a bit too proactive in its protection lately. This was likely caused by the Great Water Spirit's recent actions. You don't seem to be affected by the Great Spirit's influence. Oh, I'm just a small shrine spirit. The Great Spirits don't get involved in our affairs, and we don't get involved in theirs. 
I can give you some advice, though. The Great Water Spirit recently started to use this shrine as a relay for his power. Since you temporarily snatched it away from his control, the local spirits should calm down. He'll probably take a hold of this place again sooner or later, but that should at least bring you some respite. Thank you. I should take advantage of this and hasten, hasten myself then. Good luck to you. Oh. So that actually dips the difficulty. Not by much, but an amount. So the one problem is we do kind of want to get over to some of these. I don't know what's going on with this card. It actually seems kind of fun. So I don't think we're going to be able to get to everything here. I mean, we could. I'm currently tanking it like a champion. The reflection is kind of a funny build. I legitimately don't know if this is a good build or not, but it's fun. And yeah, if I can get that reflection up to be, like, really high... I can just completely skunk whatever. Right. I guess we'll just fill out. Okay. I suppose we should do distraction. And then a heal. Because that bomb actually legitimately hurt. Get rid of a couple of these. Kill that guy. There we go. Go for that. No, I was going to get more spikes. It's fine. You know, it actually doesn't seem like this is getting worse. I think this is just the difficulty scaling. And that's all we have to worry about. Do we want to go? Yeah, let's go get some more cards, actually. Because, yeah, it's not a bad idea for us to just get more. Because my energy regen goes up based on how many cards I have. Okay, let's get rid of those. I kind of want to just keep using needles. Get my reflection up wicked high. Because the nice part about reflection is... The more my enemies scale, the more they are just going to kill themselves. Go for a little bit. I'll have to see if there's like a regen stat I can go for. Okay. Go for this. Pop needles. Flexion. I think we're good. Get a couple of those. Ah, I was gonna use it. It's fine. Okay, so cure. Plus five key per cured status level. So that's elemental status effects. Armor, boost one. Multiplying their effects when played. Cards can be boosted multiple times. Discard two, draw five. Entrenchments is interesting. Bogged, burnt, frightened, poisoned. I think I might actually want to grab that. Boost is interesting. Next attack, no. Should have gone for that boost. We'll leave it. Okay, do I just have everything? No. Ah. Oh, I need... Wait, I need more cards in my deck? Oh, I have to have 15 cards. 
was not aware of that limitation. Well, unfortunately, I've got to get this back up. Or we just need to never re-roll ever. But yeah, good to know about these limitations over here. Go for that. We also have distraction. And yeah, I don't need evade that bad. Because it doesn't really fit the build. There we go. Should check to see if the Get rid of those. Just destroy that. Oh, and that was gone. Ah, uh, shoot. I was saving too much. But it's fine. Let's see, we got needles. Yeah. I should check to see if my... Reflection damage. Fucking crit. I don't think it can. So that is making crit a little useless for me. That had a card spot, but we took it off and it's come back as a weird corruption spot. I might want to take a look at it, actually. Let's let's give it a shot. Let's see what it is. Looks creepy. That's for certain. And not enough key. I think I can just tank it though. And part of it is I should go for 100% crit anyway. Because it still affects my regular attacks. And then once I've got that up to 100%. We never have to think about it again. I'm gonna get a bit more. So does that do anything? Oh, it gets me cards. Four crits. Wait. Four percent crits and power 1.5 if you parry with this card. Oh. That's okay. Next attacks, add one level of bog to enemies. Bog slows them down. So grudge. 4% crits, I mean, sure. I don't think I care for either of these. Discard two, draw three. I don't think I want it. Okay, we still don't have enough though. Ah, but that does reduce the overall challenge. Uh, let's see. Do we want to keep? I want to work my way up to whatever that is. There we go. Bonus damage. And once again, if I can get crit up to 100%, I don't know if you can over crit in this game. It'd be nice if it actually, you had a chance of like boosting your crit further. I like the fact that some of these boost cards actually have unique effects. That is a nice change of pace. Okay, there's distraction cycle. Okay, discard two, draw three. Ah, I was gonna be able to get more, but it's fine. Yeah, let's keep working our way up here. There we go. 
and then we've got Grudge. But I don't think I can afford it yet. Oh, we get extra energy for killing them. Good to know. Really that guy that I want to parry. And I kind of also don't need to. I do think this is probably going to be the only time I run a reflection build. It's fun, but it doesn't have the same scalability that like a, a damage attack speed crit build has. And so to some degree, uh, we want needles. Yeah, to some degree, I, I want to be careful about some of these. Oh, I did actually get the shield. Perfect. We're not going to be able to grudge this one. Let's see. We do actually have another group. Let's just go for this. Because, yeah, this guy can't hit me. And so it makes that kind of meaningless. One more time, sir. I think I got it. Uh, let's see, what's our crit up to? 84%. That's getting good. But my need to replace these cards goes up. I guess we can always just discard them. I think what I should do is just whenever... Wow. Okay, let's go for a beat them all. Oh, that's really not that helpful. Okay. Ah. I was gonna see if I could get some more armor. All right, that's popped up, but what is this? This machine looks like an ancient training device. I should be able to get something from it if I manage to succeed its trial. Patience or speed? Patience. Ow. Maybe fine? I don't know how long I have to be patient for. There we go. Got it. Uh, critical attack, steal life. Take it. That's incredibly good. Not the most helpful on me at the moment, but that is incredibly good. All right. It does give me healing. Which is supremely useful. As I don't have that much. Okay, let's cycle. Get another. Cycle again. Let's see. Cycle. Distraction. Spikes. Why I want to get rid of the extra healing. Because it's not that helpful for me. I'm just going to grab whatever. Are we up to 108% crit? I don't even know what that does. Maybe you can over crit? Okay. Plus 1% evade. Oh, speed per card. Impulse is amazing. Uh, Reroll these. Greed is feed. No attack. Temporary shield. Double key accumulation speed during three turns. And then I think we'll quit. Okay. Let's go for those. We're up to five. Do I want cure? Not yet. We do want some more cards, though. 
Let's go over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going for the corrupted spots. Yeah, I'd like to get rid of Daikatana. What I want is just a bunch of things that boost my stats, no matter what. Okay. I was too fast. I think I'm getting strong here. Okay, greed is feed. Okay, let's go for another greed is feed. Yeah, actually, evasion is kind of good for me. I guess it does slow things down a smidge. Okay, there's speed. Read his feed. Just immediately pop that. Draw two. Oh, I see. I couldn't attack anyway. Interesting that I can actually do both of those. Do another fight. Yeah, we're good. The greatest feat is a little rough if we've got the uh, shield boy going on. Okay, let's get a couple more because I'm I want impulse. Do I? I have no idea actually. Because stuff like Impulse actually seems kind of eh for me. Cycle those. Go for Distraction. Reflection. Get rid of Daikatana because I don't want it. Cycle. Reflect. I think speed does in increase. There it is. I think speed does, in fact, increase my, uh, my karma gain. Armor parry, X strikes, armor per card. It only gets up to five, though. I mean, it's good. It's not amazing. Oh, plus one percent evade recovery. Fairness. Actually, is kind of great, and we'll just quit. Because that increases my max HP, which we desperately want. So it seems genuinely practical for me to go for every single one of these corrupted spots whenever they pop up. Uh, let's see. Let's get another one of these. I guess I'll just start cycling cards. If we find stuff that I don't like, then I'll consider swapping it out. I do like the reflection. Like, I will, I will give it major credit where credit is due. Uh, I'm just able to reflect a stupid amount of damage. Uh, let's see. Nope. Go for a Daikatana. It's cheap enough. Go for that, because we want to take the dude down. Another impulse. Yeah. I think this is kind of working. It's weird. As I have not scaled my damage up, like, at all. Okay. That gets me a little bit of max HP. Not much. But I'll take it. Alright, that drops that down. It also seems to give me a heck of a lot of, um the yellow resource, so we can try going for more cards, because I think I'm going to keep doing that. I actually just want to set up for a, a bareness here. Slightly. I don't want to overuse it. I kind of do.
Okay, after we kill that guy, now we can do a greed his feed. He's gonna run for me. Avoid it, cycle. Probably do a distraction. Distraction again. One of those. Cycle some cards in. More distraction. Just kill that guy. I'm gonna keep pushing the crits in hopes that uh, you can over crit here. Damage and deflammation is amazing. And then coagulation is also really good. 3% crits head hunting. That's okay, we can live without. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of things. For starters, let's get rid of heal. We don't need it anymore. I'm gonna get rid of grudge too. For coagulation and wound. You know what? I'm gonna leave grudge on and we'll throw on pharmacopia. So here's the thing. Likeliness for your character to perform a critical attack, multiplying its damage instead of a normal one. The higher the crit chances are, the stronger the damage multiplier can be. So I think, I think that does in fact increase the damage multiplier as well. Okay, we have greed as feed, so we should probably start with that. Because that'll scale this up a little bit. Well, that didn't work. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to have any... Go for that. Those are just free. Read his feet again. I... Okay, wound is amazing. Just in terms of scaling all of my, my stats. Uh, let's go for an impulse while we're here. And then as soon as it's dead, get the max HP. They just keep that card around to use up all of my lasting abilities. Ooh. Extra strikes, parry, boost, wound. Temp armor times... Half your temporary armor, I gain one power plus one power per temporary armor point spent. I'm going to try that. Because those sound interesting. We don't need to worry about HP as much. And it gets me stronger. So let's go up to this shrine and then let's start pushing forwards to the end. Because I don't think we need to just do random fights as much. Okay, let's do a cycle. Lead up for another wound. I think I might as well. Read his feed. Let's see. Wound. Impulse. Crits. Ah, protection. Okay, let's see what we can get out of this. Hello there. You seem to be in a hurry. Are you on the on your way to save the world, I presume? But listen, I have things that might interest you. Charms little assist you on your journey. Okay, so we can get drawn cards from the pile. Boost your next attack. Damage taken. Boost your next attack. Each card played reduces the cost of similar cards. Oh. Note to self, don't go to the shop without at least 30. Good to know. Alright, that hurt a bit. Okay, so we have two wounds. Oh, that was it. That was a short fight. Okay, I'm so curious about this. Is that a temp boost? Oh, it might be.
I think it is. All right, do we want to get a greedous feed? Yeah. Oh, and I can cure greed. That's actually really cool. Okay. Hits me a little bit. Uh, let's see. We have a house. I think I'm gonna leave it. I'm assuming that lets me rest. I'm gonna boost both of those so we can do a greet his feed ASAP. Well, I tried curing greed. It didn't seem to work. Okay. Yeah, I want to go for the parry. So I can gain a little bit of HP here. Doesn't work as well as I was hoping it would. But that's okay. Alright, do we do anything else? No. I want more cards. I want more speed. We might have to put on some healing. Alright. I'll just pop that. And it's too little, too late. It's okay. Go over here. We're holding on. I might want to put on, like, two heals. I mean, supposedly, crits are supposed to heal me. Doesn't really feel like they are. Okay, that healed me a smidge. Wound. Nope, he's not going for me. Okay, get rid of some of my temp armor. Go for the kill. Cycle. I don't think that actually helps me too much. It's the bombers that are the ones that seem to hurt me the most. Okay, let's just wait. Almost got another evasion from that. Uh, do we want to go over here? Yeah. Make evasion free. And start lining up some wounds. Mom, fight me. There we go. Yeah, so power is something completely different, I suppose. I was under the assumption Ow. I was under the assumption that power was just more damage, but it looks like no. Next attack steals life, shield and vulnerable. I think I'm gonna go for the wound. Reroll these. Reflect, parry, anything else? No. Okay, so I gotta look at this. Okay, where is it? Here. Power. Ah, yep, just next attack. Don't care for those. I'm gonna put a couple of heals on, at least for a little while. I'll put a lot on, in fact. I think we can afford them. Alright, let's go here.
Because, yeah, with Wound, everything becomes free, kind of. I'll just do a greed as feed. It doesn't look like I can do a greed as feed, or I. It doesn't look like I can cure greed. Which is weirdly poetic, I suppose. That didn't quite work, but it's fine. What is my reflection stat up to? That's cool. Oh. Six armor, heal ten, sure. I'm just gonna put those on, uh... Because it actually seems like going for uh, deck bloat is actually a good thing here. Which is usually pretty unusual. Usually. Okay, there we go. I might want to get rid of Daikatana, though. That's like the one thing I don't care too much for. And maybe Grudge? Yeah, I should probably start healing more. There we go. Keep going this direction. Oh, did I hear a, a new spawn? Maybe. Okay, nothing amazing. Didn't get it. That's okay. That's why wound is great. Yeah, part of the problem is uh, my evasion chances kind of mess with my parry. But I'm not actually sure if I care. Because I think I want to get rid of my parry power grudge. It just doesn't really fit the build. Kind of true of a lot of these, actually. I'm trying to get my stats back up. There we go. What cards do we get? Your Crits and vulnerable. No, thank you. I want none of these. I like irritation. Is it worth it, though? Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to get rid of my... I'll keep that one crits, but we'll get rid of Grudge. Because I don't think that's going to help me. Okay, so we still have that house. Go here. I'll get a little bit more resources before I go anywhere. I guess in retrospect... Thrust is kind of bad. Not heinously so. But not as good as I'd want it to be. Okay, and I can't get rid of that. There we go. Yeah, in retrospect, I might want to get rid of that. Well, let's go over here. I'm just going to keep doing whatever. I I don't mind taking forever here if it means becoming ridiculous. My curiosity is... Oh, right. I should have done that first.
Yeah, I think I, I will have to get rid of that. Okay. Last set. Let's just go for even more reflection. Nah, I could have gotten a little bit more. It's fine. Do we think we can do this now? Uh, let's go to the village first. You, the protector, has awoken at last. My prayers have kept the corrupted spirits away from this village thus far. But I'm afraid this would only have lasted uh, for so long. You can rest here as long as you need, and I can help you rearrange your summoning cards if you need to. But if you come back to rest another time, the spirits will take this opportunity to grow stronger. The great water spirit shares some of his powers with his minions. These spirits will bog you down with their attacks, making your movement slower and slower. Hopefully the effects will quickly disappear, especially if speed is already one of your strengths. All right. So we can just move cards around. In retrospect, let's go back down here and get rid of thrust. It's just not that helpful. Irritation is okay. If I can start with it. Okay, what about over here? What is this? What are we what are we doing? I don't know. Oh right, I should have gotten rid of Daikatana. Ah, I'm a fool. Whatever. And yeah, I can't really cycle if I've got irritation in my hand. Let's see. Go impulse. Go wound. Yeah, we'll be able to get irritation. Okay, it's at 25. It looks like this is kind of a long fight. It's actually kind of for the best. Pop irritation again. Oh, no, I should go for wound. Because, yeah, that five cost discount on everything is really nice. Use die katana, gain distraction. All right. And my stats are going, so what do we want? Fire, lightning, or poison? Play all cards, less than 10 key. Poisoning attacks. Discard all cards. I guess I'll go for investment. Because that is actually pretty useful. So that's what that is. It's an elemental card. Okay, do we just go fight the boss? Uh, almost. We got one more card that we can get. And I might as well snag it. We have another wound. I should... I mean, honestly, wound stack. Let's cycle out my cheap cards. Oh. Alas. Let's see. Probably go for those. There, I got some ma some max HP. One person evade recovery, leech one head hunting one. Sell all for twice the price. Boost is interesting, bargain is really interesting. I don't think that's good though. I want none of these. Alright, boss time, boss time. I feel like he needs a top hat. 
What a surprise. Isn't that the renowned wanderer, protected, protector of humanity? Oh, great water spirit, I come to you in search of information. Well, well, I'm not accustomed to such deference from thee. We suspected that your prolonged inactivity may have affected your mind and memory. This goes beyond my expectations, though. Tell me, before I send you back to your little temple, what information do you seek? I'm trying to figure out what, uh, figure out the cause of your anger and the animosity of the spirits. <coughs> ah, hard on my voice. Why this sudden hostility, uh, hostility for humans? Oh, this you'll figure out by yourself. May take another one or two hundred years, but you'll see. And then she'll understand then. But for now, let's take care of you. You seem to be weary from your journey. Let me provide you with some refreshments. <laughs> okay, draw cards. Distraction. Pasta Katana. I think he just clobbered himself. Okay. <clears throat> Here's Wound. Don't think I can refresh that. Okay, here's investment. I guess I'll get rid of this. Now is a great time for investment. Assuming we can get the money for it. Yes. Okay, greed is feed. Impulse per card. Lose Daikatana by this. There we go. I almost died. I was too focused on raising my stats. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go for a reflection build in the future. As funny as that was, uh, watching Big Number go by, it's too inactive. Well, that was indeed refreshing. Thank you, Wanderer. With all my senses recovered at last, I can give you some answers you seek. As you're already aware, we, great elemental spirits, all abide by the orders of the Grand Spirit of Balance. I remain connected to him and will soon have to conform to his will once more, and this will currently serves a pretty grim mood. The reasons for this anger, you will eventually come to understand them by yourself. To reach the grim sp Grand Spirit, though, I'm afraid you'll have to first... <clears throat> I'm gonna need some ramen after this. First pay a visit to the other three great elemental spirits. It's unlikely that he'll agree to meet you unless you cause some serious turmoil in his plans. Good luck, Wanderer. May the spirits guide thee. Water Plains Purified. Unlocked a bunch of cards. Heavy-handed. Beat a world boss with 20 or more cards in your deck. Discard one, plus 20 key. Waterbender. Extinguishes all fire. Nano machines. Five hits in a row without losing any health. Turtling. Armor and shielding. Eliminate an enemy in one hit by reflecting its damage. 25 reflect in opportunism 1. Whoa, that's really good and expensive. Pumped up. Thrice your standard damage with a non-critical strike. Power, 5 recovery. 5 critical attacks in a row. Crits and leech. Spirit Bomber by making a... Oh, beat a spirit by making it explode. We get that. Cool. We've unlocked a bunch of new things. Well, I trust you have some good news. Good and bad, I guess. I'll have to pay a visit to each great elemental spirit, but I doubt any of them will be particularly welcoming. Sadly, I knew that was likely to be the case here. Let me switch the voices. Sadly, I knew it was likely to be the case. Then the next step would be to pay a visit to the great fire spirit, unless you have some unsettled matter on the water plains. Did your memory problems get any better? A little, but many things remain obscure to me. Well, I sure hope everything will come back to you in time. So now we can also modify our starting deck. So rather than having a reflection build, I can do something else. Oh, or is it just randomly giving me these? Wait, the amount of flat damage reduction on your temporary shield. Wait, was shield actually really good? Okay, so what else do we have? So I can buy these. See when enemies are ready to attack. I'll pick that up. Accumulate key faster when your health is low, but that's expensive. See the next card you'll pick. Picking cards is free when you're low health. Unused cards are sold at the end of fights, increasing the amount of healing. 
Sure, we'll just pick those up. What else do we have? Fourth stronger blow to every three attacks. Your super bar slowly depletes at the end of fights, giving you some time to play your remaining cards. Oh, that's really helpful. <clears throat> Reroll your starting deck at the temple by spending energy. Small accumulate key accumulation boost if your hand is full. Reroll merchant's charms by spending energy and get back to your last posi position on your map if you die when your energy orb is full. Neat. Well, for now, though, I think I'm going to call it here uh, as that run went on more than long enough. But I had a lot of fun with it. I really like the idea of... Well, I mean, I guess I, I called this a power accumulation roguelike, and I stand by that. Uh, I called it that in a previous video, and I stand by that because that's really what you're doing. You are accumulating as much power as possible so you can just completely dunk on the rest of the run. And I think that's really cool. And I'm looking forward to seeing where this game goes, especially because it looks like the runs get a little longer. Uh, and yeah, I'll definitely play around with some different builds because yeah i think an armor shield build could be really good skip reflection or don't do reflection and evade in the same run they don't work well together uh personally i think speed damage and crits and then figure out some way of getting healing reliably maybe for now though uh if you guys want to pick up racine it'll be out in two days on steam i don't know how much it's going to cost but my assumption is somewhere between 10 and 15 bucks uh, just judging by other games in the Goblins catalog. Uh, but I, I could be wrong on it. I think it is worth trying at the very least. It is weird. It is unique. There's nothing quite like it on the market. And I think everyone that likes roguelikes should at least give it a go and, and see how it feels. I was hoping the demo was still up, but alas, it's not. Anyway, so with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. With that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.